sure the fleece in summertime but um i've got a few left that need doing that i bought after summertime they're not from our sheep um this is some nice long wool curls uh, that i need to spin so i want to get them ready for spinning so i've washed this and rinse this is an, a rinsing bucket then this is another rinsing bucket so i'm gonna i've got hot water in here i can feel the temperature of that is hotter than that one so i'm going to put some cold water in try and match the temperature of this one i can feel that's the same temperature as that one now so i can take this wall out of here and into the other bucket I do move the wool around in the hot water because um, I want the dirt to release from it and the lamellin so I do move it around a bit but not too much and I'll need to get this dried by the fire but first of all I'm going to put it to drip in the polytunnel. Um, I'll probably spin it and I'll bring it in and put it by the fire. Actually, no, I'm not going to bring it in. Put it by the fire. I'll put it in the studio, I'll put it in the workshop um, near to the radiator so it can dry properly. It's really lovely curls. all the fleece now there's actually two fleeces here um i managed to get two in the bucket so um i'll rinse these and then i've got and then i've got two more fleeces of the same kind of sheet um to wash which i was hoping to get done today but i think it's going to go dark now so i won't get them done today I'll rinse this and then um, put it to dry but I find that's the best way for me to when wool washing to get the next bucket ready just move it straight into it and check the temperature I always make the one that I'm moving into it just slightly warmer than the other one um, to make sure that it's definitely not cooler I don't know if it's going to cooler water from hotter water so I just make it slightly warmer not a lot just a little bit warmer in the one that it's going into I never um, rinse in cooler water because um, that tends to felt the fleece there's a few more bits in here This is going to make beautiful yarn when it's spun. Two fleeces that I've washed are in really similar colours, so I've mixed those together. But the fleeces I've got left, there's a big 
another big coloured one like this and then there's a lamb fleece that's a little bit silvery it's really pretty I'll show you actually and hopefully I'll wash this one and the other one tomorrow depending on what the weather's like we just had a quite a big storm and today it's really nice and still and it's quite warm and raining so if it's like this tomorrow i'll wash the others i just got finished just as it's starting to go dark these two fleeces um so these will have dripped well enough in a bit that i can put them into the drying nets and move them into the polytunnel and then when they've dripped from there tomorrow then i'll bring it in next to the fire light a big fire and get it all dry It's all different colours, this wool, so it's browns, greys, a little bit of um, very pale grey, um, lots of dark greys, going to really dark browns. And there's lots of quite golden-y tips on the wool. These will get spun, I'll spin them into yarn and then I'll be weaving with them. This is a small weaving I'm working on. I'm working on Alfin's loom, uh, which is an Ashford samplet loom in 10 inch width. When the weaving's finished, it could be used as a wall hanging or as a table runner. I'll show the finished piece of this weaving in the next video we make. Do remember to subscribe and click the notification bell if you'd like to know when our next videos come out. And if you click the like button on the video, it really helps the video to be seen by more people. So thank you.
tradition at the winter solstice to make a gift for the fairies and leave it in the woods for them to find. This year Elf is making a little book for them, a little journal and in previous years we've made lots of fairy furniture. We made a tiny tiara and we made a magic wand. We usually leave them in the roots of the trees where there's like little fairy houses in the tree roots and then we go for a walk looking for a yule log 
and bring back a piece of fallen wood for our yule log to burn on the fire. <laughs>